Dave, uh, one day out, can you sum up the preparation for us? Yeah, excellent. Um, one, one positive about losing early in Roland Garros is an extended uh, preparation period for, for the grass. So we're in South London at a really nice club, um, the second week of Roland Garros, and then um, halfway through that week went down to Eastbourne and where she got to the, the semi-finals and had a top five win, beat uh, last year's Wimbledon finalist. So, yeah, very, very good preparation. I mean, how would you compare to last year? Um, um, I think, it, yeah, last year obviously playing a little bit better on the grass, she has had more time, but I, I think it's very hard to, um, you know, had such a great feeling being a finalist at a Grand Slam. Um, yeah, so probably a different feeling, probably better results to look at on grass, but um, not a big, as big a high of having that, that great result in Roland Garros. And what are your thoughts on Melinda Zink and uh, the likelihood of how that match will play out? She, she hasn't really been playing a lot on the, on the main tour because she's, she has a protected ranking and she's used that to get in here, hence her you know, outside 200. But um, a lefty's always tough and, and it can sort of get to Sam's um, you know, back end early and, and everyone knows she's got such a big forehand. And, but uh, you know, I think if, if Sam serves well and, and makes enough returns that, that she'll do well. And, and what are your overall expectations? Um, look, I think the goal for Sam would be great to get to the round of 16. It would be something that she's never done at Wimbledon and, and uh, if she got to the second week, uh, I think that would be a very good tournament for Sam. Thanks, mate. Good luck. Thanks.